because the Astrianium sometimes has more resistant to things like Pseudomonas, yeah. so we would add the Cipro for double cup. So currently I am working in the emergency room and I have the opportunity to work as a very independent practitioner with a lot of support from my preceptors. As a PGY2, they give us more autonomy um, and more responsibility in order to learn how to be a clinical specialist um, and really provide effective care to our patients. The residents are accepted and expected to be part of the healthcare team pretty quickly when they start the residency program. We're looking for people that are leaders, have taken a leadership role in their pharmacy school or college of pharmacy, but are looking to take a leadership role in the future of the profession. I've had the opportunity to implement new systems, to help manage orders, do a lot of patient safety, as well as a lot of clinical roles while I'm down in the emergency department. Well, I knew pretty early on that I wanted to specialize in informatics, pharmacy informatics. And with that, I also knew that I needed a strong clinical background. And I felt that Johns Hopkins was a great place to increase my clinical knowledge. We have eight different ICUs. Um, which really allowed me to explore my options. And what was nice about Hopkins is they really let me get my experiences early to let me know what I really wanted to do with my career going forth with mid-year and early commitment. The residents expect to get some support from preceptors, but they're always surprised at the level of support that they get. The preceptors here want to make sure that you're comfortable and that Hopkins is a good learning environment for you. So they really take the time to make sure that you're comfortable and you're learning and they will tailor the rotation and the program to meet your needs. Literally every single person from the department is willing to just go out of their way and help the residency. And I really feel it's the culture that's created here. It says a lot about how proud the department is of their residency program and their residents. We're always doing really innovative things. I was on bone marrow transplant in my PGY one year and we did the first ever simultaneous kidney bone marrow transplant. And I got to be a part of that managing the patient's medications throughout the whole process. We have a robotic system that does a majority of our medication dispensing. We have an IV manufacturing robot. These are things that I know a lot of hospitals do not have throughout the country, so I feel very fortunate that I have hands-on experience working with all sorts of new technologies, new software that, that are being implemented. Every day we are working with physicians who are not only leaders in the hospital, they're actually experts in the entire world. And these physicians really value the expertise of pharmacy. Even as a resident, they will ask us questions related to clinical care. The leaders of this hospital and the hospital itself didn't get to where it is without listening to pharmacy. And I see that every day. They take the input from the entire team in the care of the patient. I feel very fortunate to be a part of that. I hope that by coming to Hopkins, we're able to support your desire to achieve what you've defined as success for yourself, both personal and professional.